There's no greater sorrow than to know another's secret when you cannot help them. He's obviously not in love with her. But why shouldn't he marry her? She is not pretty. But she is so clever and pure and good. She would make an excellent wife. For a country doctor of his years, I can understand how the poor child feels. She lives here in this desperate loneliness. No one around her except these colorless shadows that go mooning about, talking nonsense and knowing nothing except that they eat, drink, and sleep. Among them appears from time to time this Dr. Astra. So different, so Handsome, so interesting, so charming. It's like seeing the moon rise on a dark night. Oh, to surrender oneself to his embrace, to lose oneself in his arms. Yes, I am a little in love with him myself. And when I think of him, I smile. That Uncle Vanya says, I have the blood of a Nixie in my veins. Give rein to your nature for once in your life. Perhaps it is right that I should. Oh, to be free as a bird and fly away from all of your sleepy faces and your talk and forget you ever existed at all. I'm afraid. My conscience torments me. He comes here every day now. I can only guess why. I feel guilty already. I should like to fall on my knees at Sonia's feet and beg her forgiveness and weep. Last night I dreamt that somebody loved me. No hope, no harm, just another fault to love.